there's not that much uh, movie being filmed down in Miami. There's no, no. I was, no, I was hoping we would have been. We're leaving in two weeks to go do um, Pirates Five. Kevin and I. Ooh, where uh, are you going? Mr. Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs. <laughs> so that was your question. Ones. Are you going to be in Pirates Five? Yeah, I was going to ask. That was my question. That was the only question I had. What was that? Are you, you going to be in Pirates Five? Five yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be. We're off to Australia. Oh, I'm really? Oh, so, yeah. That's going to be that's fun. Gonna, that's going to be a beautiful movie. Then they have great sceneries. Yeah, and it's summertime down there oh, yeah. right now, so which is good. I mean, I'm up in Michigan right now, so it's cold. But uh, I was hoping we were going to do New Orleans and. Puerto Rico instead, because I had heard that was a, a possibility, and then they just said, now just shoot the whole thing in Australia. Wow. Is that a Three long shoot? Three hours versus, you know, 17 hours. Yeah. Is that a long shoot period? How long are you go down? Uh, well, they said be prepared from like February to like the end of June. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Which Perfect. is not, that's a nice payday, but sometimes it may go longer, and, you know, and it's kind of gets monotonous. and. You know, I got a, a two-year-old daughter, and you know, being away from her for that for long, that long. Not. So I'm gonna try to break it up and have my wife and daughter come out for like maybe five or six weeks, right in the middle. That'll be sweet. She's not in school yet. It's yeah. a good time to do it before they get into school. Travel. Yeah, they can travel. They're light. They're portable. You know. Yeah, <laughs> they're mouthy and crazy. And <laughs> While you're working. Yeah, <laughs> running around. I'm the guy who hates having kids on a plane because it's always like, ugh. And it's fun this kind of money to fly somewhere and, you know, your kids are screaming and now I'm going to have to with them, so <laughs> my wife will have to deal with it. But anybody else? Anything? What kind of roles do you like to play usually? What's your favorite? Um, well, I tend to play a lot of, like, tough guys. and I, I like that because it's, uh, it's kind of the opposite of, you know, I'm not Bill Goldberg by any means, so to be able to be a tough guy and, you know, enforce my will on somebody is <laughs> that's kind of cool. Um, I, do some, I want to do some more uh, romantic roles, would be nice, you know, have a love interest or something, I don't know. What's your favorite role? My favorite? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite one? I did a show called The Cape on NBC about two or three years ago. That's the one with the, that's the guy who gets the cake and disappears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I see that. And then, yeah, oh, yeah. NBC shut it down, and then all of a sudden, somebody else decided to come up with Arrow. Because that's all Arrow is, is the Same cape. <laughs> so <we got> that <laughs> arrow. Put on, like, CW or something. So, but yeah, I was like, you know, the tough guy. And but you're, it's like a carnival, right? The yeah, it was like, like, we were, hiding we were like bad guys. Yeah, but, Bad guys to an extent, but, but when it came to doing, you know, fighting, you know, really bad guys in reality TV. Right. It was kind of fun, you know, to be on a TV show where, you know, every week, you're fighting something. you know, every day you're going to set okay. to work, you know. Where were they filming that? Um, it was on a, you know, uh, on a lot in L.A., small lot. I think it was like, it was an NBC lot, so it was like right, right off of like Sunset Boulevard. So it was weird because I, I was filming that. And then right next door, I was doing um, uh, a couple episodes of uh, Pair of Kings, which is a kid show. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I would see, you know, both casts and go back and forth. So that was kind of cool. Are you filming me? Yeah. Yeah? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you live in Michigan? Yeah. <laughs> Born and raised. Um, I still have my house in LA, and the wife is actually going to. Uh, pack us up and move us back to California while I'm gone. So she's a she's a sixth, seventh, and eighth grade science teacher, and she's teaching in the the city that I grew up in, but they're they haven't given her a, a full time substitute. It's like oh, okay, yeah. She didn't go to school to be a substitute. So if we go back and she goes back to work this fall coming up. Um, the unions are strong in LA, so Burbank will keep, has a job for her. Oh, wow. So she'll go right back to the same school, same classroom. We'll just have to redecorate it and um, go back to work. She'll be happy, then I'll be happy, because she's happy, then I'm happy. <laughs>
Good well, when they're not happy, we're not happy. What about you? Nothing? Just sitting here with the boyfriend? No. <laughs> no? Okay. That's not your girlfriend? Why not? <laughs> you want me to make a match here? You need help? Well, by the way, are you just one of the uh, handlers? AV tech support stuff. There's so many of you guys here. Not, not for AV. No, we have like three of us. Oh, really? And other handlers and stuff like that. Yeah, they have a lot of those people because... Too many. Yeah, they, they, they're like, yeah, we need one or two per guest. Yeah, I don't... I, then I feel like I gotta sit there and talk to the guy all day. Or, you know, <laughs> no, just pleasantly ignore them. Yeah. So how did you get into acting? Like as a um, <clears throat> let's see. In high, going into high school, uh, I had chose drama as one of my classes just because I thought, oh, it'd be good for you Is know grade you? point average, whatever. <laughs> and but the summer going from eighth grade um, into high school. That's kind of like, you know, some things, you know, happen and dabble in this or that. And so, uh, luckily, since I had drama, the drama teacher kind of like pulled me away from my friends that we were, you know, kind of doing, you know, dumb, sh dumb stuff. And I just kind of fell in love with it and decided, yeah, this is kind of cool. And went on to do Broadway and, um, Worked at Radio City for about 10 years so, during the Christmas time. And uh, in 2000, they said, let's, let's see if I can do film. So here I am now 15 years. So a couple more years, I can retire. <laughs> but you like Broadway better? Or you, like you know what? I do like, uh, I never thought I'd say that, but I, I do miss the stage. There's a, there's like a family, feeling, you know, when you come to, you know, every day you come to the stage door and go to your dressing room and everybody's in the same routine, you know, putting makeup on or it's just a different, there's a smell to the theater and it's every day. Is it yeah. more stressful because it's just like no redos. Yeah, it's, it's, it's every day, isn't it's it? every day. Yeah. But I, I like, I mean, I don't know, the film is cool. But it's either feast or famine, unless you're somebody like, you know, Johnny Depp, who's got, you know, he doesn't know which one to do next. He's so busy. So and he can retire off of one film. We could all retire off of one of those films. So I think he got like 80 million to do the fourth Pirates. Oh really? Wow. Who needs 80 million dollars? <laughs> I mean, I do, but what do you do with it? I'd retire one million. I like it. Yeah, right? yeah. He owns an island. Exactly. You know, private, his own private island. You know, it's good to be Johnny, I guess. So, what are you filming this for? Oh, it's for the convention. Oh, okay. So I shouldn't say anything bad. Or... <laughs> about all the uh, Probably not about us. No, <laughs> yeah, who would yeah. show up? <laughs> <laughs> All these crazy handlers. We need more AV people. You know, they're all like, no, 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 no. <laughs> there's, there's, there's already like three. Th two. Three. That's that's enough. <laughs> yeah, three's enough. We don't need more of us for up here. Two too many. No, three. Three's a good number. Yeah. It's, it's that we really that that's a solid number. We don't need more than that. We can <laughs> solve all of our problems. See, he said he wants two more helpers. <laughs> That's exactly what he, he said. He wants an assistant. That's exactly yeah. what I said. <laughs> Are you guys a family? Yes, this is my niece. Yeah, we're, stay, we're afraid to sit in the front, so we yeah, want yeah. the back. The girls voted to sit in the front. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I spit when I talk, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the Good warning. Choice. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> yeah. What about back there? Anybody? No? You guys are just taking up seats for the next wait room for the next <laughs> guest to come in? No? I don't know what to say. Do you know if there's a set schedule with the Paris films, or are they just keeping one out after another because they feel like it? I think it's because of money. It's like... <laughs> they run out and they just come back. Yeah, they just... I mean, each one... Well, the first one we did, um, which to me was still the best one, it, 
made like six hundred and fifty and million in the box office, which is more than a lot of films ever think about. But um, the next two, actually, the, I, I guess the fourth one did well too. Well, all three of those made like about a billion dollars each, just in the theater. That's not pay per view. That's not DVDs, merchandise, toys, T-shirts. Yeah. And we didn't even have merchandise for the first film because they didn't know it was going to be such a huge hit. They just, you know, it's kind of like a gamble. So when you're making a billion dollars. You know, and it costs you maybe 250 or 300 million to make it. Yeah. And those are those are more. You know, those budgets are more than some films even make. So, but I guess the gamble is, hey, if I can get, you know, three dollars for every dollar I spend, why not? Exactly. I would. Get them every day. Twice on Sunday. <laughs> You do a lot of your stunts, or? Oh, I do all my own stunts. Really? I'm the only, uh, I, I can't say I'm the only guy, but theoretically there are really only maybe a handful of real actors that do their own stunts. Because, um, hey, if they, if they can find a double for you and that is, does stunts, they'd rather do that if you're the actor because something happens, you know, they gotta shut down the film until you get you know, better. You know, like Brandon Lee, you know, shot and killed you know, accidentally. Luckily, they, you know, could have somebody else fill in a little bit of the film. But uh, Tom Cruise and them guys like to say, oh, I do all my own stunts. And like, that's funny because I know like four guys that are your stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> but he does a lot of stuff, but you got to think, what, what, what picture would ensure? You climb on the outside of the tallest building in... In Manhattan or something like that. Yeah, Hong Kong or something. Yeah, exactly. It would be insane. Well, what was the very first movie you ever did, and did you go after that, or did you just kind of walk into it? Well, the fir first thing I ever did was, um, not even knowing I was going to be doing stunts, I just, uh, I ended up doing stunts for the little girl on uh, Hand Rocks a Cradle. And it really wasn't anything to do, but they got to pay somebody, you know, an adult that's little to double, you know, a child. So that was the first time. And then, again, I went back to Broadway for a long time. And then, um, wow, what is it? I don't even know if I can remember the first thing I did. <laughs> I don't know. Men in Black 2? No, Planet of the Apes. Um, in 2000, I did that with um, with Mark Wahlberg. I played three different children apes, and then they also gave me a cameo as a as a human, and I was the uh, the monkey grinder's pet. <laughs> so instead of you know flip flopped it. Um, yeah, kind of hard to kind of hard to tell you. Leprechaun. I did a lot of leprechauns for. Um, Warwick Davis, um, almost broke my neck doing one for him and slipped my head, you know, cracked my head wide open. Oh my God. Just rehearsing, just rehearsing a stunt. But it was like two o'clock in the morning, everybody's tired, and that's all it takes is, you know, not everybody being on the same page at the same time, and boom. And luckily there was a, a a plastic surgeon that was in the OR, the ER, you know, at 2.30 in the morning when they came wheeling me in. So, stitch it up good, you can't even tell. Because uh, I don't need any more scars on my head. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like everybody's just staring at me like, I want to get up and do a dance. <laughs> um, when you guys were not actually filming on the Pirates movies, did yeah. you guys like do pranks or have fun or anything like that? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, um, when Pirates, if you're not working, you're usually golfing. Because, um, well, the, the three that I, the first three that I did, because that's all there was to do really in the, on the islands, um, that's, you know, kind of American. It's either you're working or 
we can eat roster food, but that, you know, that gets old. And uh, you don't really go bowling when you're, you know, who goes bowling? I mean, I'm on a bowling league, but I don't go, I'm not going to go to another state just to go bowl or a country or something. But we did a lot of golfing. We did a lot of, you know, like Orlando would throw uh, private parties, like, you know, poolside parties and to see, you know, at the time he was dating um, Kate Botsworth and uh, so to like have her in a little bikini making margaritas and stuff for you and, you know, and Orlando's at the grill, you know, hey, you need no hamburger or hot dog? And you're like, wow, <laughs> these guys are like waiting on you and like kind of cool, but uh, pranks do happen. I, I never, oh, yeah, there was a bad one. I, there was a picture of me in, from a movie I did uh, called Me IPI, where um, I was standing, I was in God's clothes, you know, it's all I had on, it was adding a cowboy hat and cowboy boots. And the makeup artist had found a, a picture of it and he took it and um, he did some graphic things that, <laughs> you know, just wasn't right. And come to find out it was Johnny who had, you know, instructed him exactly what to do. And so they, you know, I got this envelope in the, you know, my dressing room and I opened it and I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I go in the, you know, the makeup trailer to get ready and there it is, posted on it. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, yeah, I get, you know, everybody gets to be kind of tricky and, you know, it's like a big family, so, yeah. Who are, who are some of your favorite uh, fellow actors to work with? Johnny, obviously. Um, Keith David. Love Keith David. Um, pretty much any of the guys from Pirates. I mean, Ken McNally is Jeffrey Rush. They're like, you know, just there's so much knowledge. And, um, you know, they come from a different school of, of the art. Um, and, and I'll just say John Orlando. One more. What are the absolute worst filming conditions you had to endure <laughs> on any of your movies? <laughs> like from weather to flea bag motels. <laughs> it all, they're all going to be pirate. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, yeah, I mean yeah. actually the day we flew, we flew into, um, the island we were going to be on doesn't have a big enough airport, so we had to fly from LA to St. Lucia on the big jet, and then everybody got off. And if you weren't on the the hierarchy, you know, who got to get on one of the little jet planes, fly over to the next island, you got on a big uh, looked like a pontoon boat, but it was like monster size. So I don't know if it was like a monster size catamaran or what, but. <laughs> The, the swells, that was the first time I had ever experienced like, you know, 12 foot swells. And the guys that were driving the boat were just like full throttle. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, you know, everybody was already having a good time on the first flight. So to get on there and then you're like, you know. So everybody said, oh, get to the center of the boat and the lowest point. So it wasn't pretty down there. <laughs> Oh, Everybody was just like, <laughs> so I made sure that coming off the island that I got on one of the little jets so I could, you know, fly nicely. No shark stories? Um, I, I did fall in the water once, but there's, they have, well, you never see them, but there's always underwater um, mm -hmm. divers, uh, safety divers, so they, they, they'll be prepared. You know, or they would say, hey, we're all shooting until we can shoot in such and such a way. Um, there were even people getting hurt and stuff. Like that. that happens, you know, just doing stunts. I see stunt guys, you know, their part of their face was crushed in. Um, when we did the scene where the boat flips back over from, you know, the water and we land back. And so the stunt guys, it was me and the stunt guys and uh, one of the guys jumped a little too early and they had a, 
those huge like um, storage containers. So I don't know how many yards or whatever they call it, filled with water. And then they just dumped it on us all at once. So it looked like, you know, we flipped over a little, and the one guy got shoved all the way to the side of the boat, right into a um, this block of wood that holds like three cannonballs. And it's like solid, like oak, you know, and crushed his face. So luckily Jerry Buckheimer was there. You know, they got him right on, they got the guy right on the, Jerry's jet, flew him to Miami, ready, you know, you don't want some guy at the Bahamas working on you. And, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 So, I'll still, I'll still. Did you start off in um, theater or, or in, in movies? And how long did it take until you were able to break into the Um, I just started, in, started off needing a job. <laughs> so I loved, I loved theater. And uh, like I said, I moved to LA in 2000 just to see if I could, you know, I, I knew other little guys. And uh, they were always like, ah, oh, you don't want to move to LA. You know, there's so many other little guys. And, You'll never work, uh, you know, there's too much competition. So for, you know, probably about 10 years, I didn't. I was just like, oh, okay, you know, until I, I, I realized that, oh, they, you know, they just didn't want another guy coming for competition. But um, I had, you know, I had to make that move. So I'm glad I did, because, you know, I, I work pretty, pretty, pretty much as much as my, anybody else, except for, I mean, Dinklage is on Game of Thrones. You know, I don't, I don't know where they filmed that, but that's a continual thing, which is good because, um, you know, it keeps keeps little people out there, and uh, he's a tremendous actor too. So, anybody else? Oh. <laughs> um, what was your favorite scene to shoot? My favorite scene to shoot in what? Anything or just? Yeah, anything. Oh man, uh, I loved doing the bone cage scene in Pirates because it was so. It was that took about eight weeks uh, to do, and I didn't really have to do anything. Like the other guys were doing all the heavy, you know, carrying the ball, and I pretty much just got to sit down and you know, <laughs> ride on it. And I just thought the the whole idea of the, the cage and us rolling down the hill and crashing and it was just, the stunts were cool. So, I like that. Um, I don't know. I just did a movie, not so, it just came out called Left Behind, where I kind of a, uh, I don't know if I'm racist or not. The Nicolas Cage movie? Yeah. Oh, wow. Just came out on DVD this week. Did it? Yeah. See, I haven't even seen it yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. No, I, there's a couple of them, like, you, you do them, you're like, yeah, I don't want to see this one. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, there's a, the funny thing is, I was kind of like the comic relief in that one. I'm like this bitter, you know, you know, guy who thinks he's a badass, and there's a, I'm trying to put my suitcase up into the thing in the airplane, and uh, there's an Arabic guy, you know, he's like, hey, can I help you? And I'm like, you know, I swore. I'm like, I need your, I need your help, whatever. And the whole time I'm thinking, you know, we're in first class and I'm eyeballing the whole time. And then once the rapture or whatever happens where, you know, God takes the good people, I'm up right away, he's involved, you know. 9-11, <laughs> he did it. They're involved, it's the Arabs. Well, see, I wasn't gonna buy it, now I'm gonna buy it today. Yeah. 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 Fourteen ninety five targets making off me today. There you go. <laughs> All right. Buy two. <laughs> yeah, buy two. <laughs> so, what do you really want to play? What's the one thing that you want to do as an actor? Is there some role or some? Yeah, type? I want to play. Um, uh, there's this. Uh, back in uh, ten sixty six, there was a day. It's like one of the most famous uh, dates in uh, English history. And uh, there was a character named Turold, and he was actually like, a, um, he wasn't a jester, but he was like a confidant to the king. So uh, I would like to do a big, this movie that um, somebody's getting produced, or wants to get produced called 1066. 
and uh, you know, then I could be like, it'd be like a Braveheart kind of a you know movie, and you know, and see that you know, little people weren't just jokes or clowns or gestures. They were also sometimes uh, uh, the kings could only trust them because they thought, oh well, I don't have to worry about this guy, you know, you know, taking out, you know, trying to dethrone me or whatever. Because um, back then, they obviously, probably wouldn't have had a, you know, somebody different as a king. Um, so yeah, I like to play that.